So over here, you can see that I got a frame and let's say I want uh, this prototype to be animated by itself so that uh, it can be demonstrated without having the user to interact with the prototype. So in order to do that, I'm going to go around and then copy out this frame. I'm going to press Control C, Control V to create out a new frame right here. And I'm going to make a few changes. So let's say I'm just going to go around, drag out the menu right here. And maybe I want to change around the location of the scroll right here. And maybe I want to change out uh, this as well. So let me just go around and change out the location uh, right here of this object as well. So this is what you have. And I'm going to go around again. And then I'm going to hold Alt this time and click and drag this out. So I want this to go back up just like this. And let's say I want this to uh, go around onto the center right here. And maybe I want this to go back over here again. So this is what I have. And I'm going to go around into prototype. And this is what you have right here. So now I'm going to go to the frame and then link out the frame to the other frame right here. And once I do that right now, it says on click. But what I want to do is I want to do after delay. So after 800 milliseconds, let me just change that into 1000 right here so that it'll wait for 1000 milliseconds and I want it to navigate to frame two after that. So animation here is going to be smart anime. And similarly, I'm going to go around over here onto frame two, click and drag this around onto frame three. And right now it says on click. So I'm just going to change this into after delay. And this is going to be smart animate again. So let me just change this out to is in and is out right here. Same goes for this one as well. So I'm going to go around right here, select the frame. And over here, this is going to be is in and out again. So now if I were to press the play button, what happens is that I don't need to do anything. Uh, I just need to wait. So uh, wait a thousand millisecond. It just goes around as you can see right there. So that is what happens. You can click back right here. So after a while, what happens is that um, everything animates out and then will work out. Of course, you can uh, interact with this as well, but the auto animation is there so that the demonstration can happen on its own. So that is how you can use the after delay option to um, let things go by, like uh, let the frames go up from one frame to another inside of Figma. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.